March 15, 1943. The Battle of Guadalcanal has been over for nearly a month now. A battle the Marine who wrote this letter played a part in. The world was still very much in war, and would be for two more years. The Battle of Guadalcanal was a major victory for the Americans, stopping the Japanese advance through the Pacific Islands to Australia. In May 1942, the Japanese arrived on the island and began construction of an airfield at Lunga Point. The situation then became critical as it presented a threat to Australia. The U.S. Marines conducted the first amphibious landing of the war on the 7th of August, 1942. They secured the airfield fairly easily, but the challenge became holding it for the next six months. The battle at Guadalcanal became a major turning point in the war because it stopped Japanese expansion in the Pacific Islands. After six months of fighting, the Japanese left the island in February 1943 and the U.S. finished construction of the airfield. Marine Henry I.J. Slack, the soldier writing to Evelyn, uses many forms of rhetoric in just the second page of his letter to her. He opens speaking of other things, but the bulk of the letter is in the last two paragraphs. They provide a contradictory sort of image, indicating both the reality of war while also distracting her from the dangers of it. He apologizes for not writing back sooner, using battle as a justification. He states, I would have answered your last letter, but I lost your address right before we left Guadalcanal. Of all the things to lose in battle, losing an address is the least tragic. When contextualized to a war where Henry may have lost his life, the loss of her address seems trivial. However, Henry doesn't seem to want Evelyn to worry too much about him. In the last line, he says, There really isn't anything much I can write about where I'm at, except that I'm enjoying myself and getting fat. Ha ha. After the images of war in the last paragraph, this serves to put Evelyn's mind at ease. By making a joke about getting fat, he adds levity to the subject. He makes her think that he can't be doing anything too strenuous if he's putting on weight. In this letter of many sent to Evelyn, this man distinguishes himself with a light-hearted attitude. He endears himself to Evelyn through empathy, jokes, and apologies. His letter is, in total, a plea for comfort in this time of war.